Right. So you already understand that uh, Joe Biden, President of the United States, had signed into law the 2022 National Defense Authorization Act, um, which uh, I, I puts money behind uh, support for democracy in Burma. Uh, what impact has that had? How far will uh, Joe Biden go in trying to persuade ASEAN to take tougher steps against Myanmar? Is he going to, in fact, seek um, guidance from ASEAN in order to shape a U.S. policy? I think, let's let's be frank, the five-point consensus will be dead in the water. It's already controversial. It's on its last legs. It hasn't been able to deliver anything moving forward. None of the points of the five-point consensus have been achieved so far. So if ASEAN needs to save, wants to save face and resuscitate this five-point consensus, they are actually going to have to deliver a way forward in ensuring there's comprehensive political engagement with all sides involved in the situation in Burma, that they are able to ensure delivery of humanitarian assistance to those communities that need it, and, and actually that we're moving forward on some type of sustainable peace agreement. So in order for all of that to move forward, we need to still abide by international humanitarian law and those principles. I don't think, given that uh, President Biden has taken such a strong stand on the Ukraine, I don't think he's going to be flip-flopping and saying, yes, ASEAN, I'll do whatever you want on Burma. There's going to have to be an active principled uh, negotiation about what US and ASEAN can do together moving forward. And ASEAN will lose the initiative, will lose the ability to lead on this solution if they're refusing to actually deal with a solution.